Pasca nostru. Immolatus est Christus. Alleluia. Ita. Charitatis ad veritatis. Alleluia. 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 Christus resurrexit, resurrexit vere. Christ has risen, he has truly risen, alleluia. Today we hear this word proclaimed over and over again, this word that has been absent since the beginning of Lent on Ash Wednesday, alleluia, which in Hebrew means praise the Lord. And this is not a command given without a reason. Rather, we have the greatest reason to rejoice Pascha nostrum immolatus est Christus. Our Pasch, our Passover, has been sacrificed Christ himself. As the exalted proclaimed at the Easter Vigil, the sanctifying power of this night of the resurrection dispels wickedness, washes faults away, restores innocence to the fallen, and joy to mourners, drives out hatred, fosters concord, and brings down the mighty. When we pause on Easter morning to think again about this unparalleled act of God's love for each of us, when we think of the enormity of this mystery we celebrate today, then we can't help but shout, Alleluia, praise the Lord. And this appears to also have been the case for the monk who originally composed this chant. The word Christus is musically unresolved and waits in tension for Alleluia, to finish the phrase. This great joy is then expressed in the melismatic rendering of that simple word, ita, therefore. Therefore, for this reason, let us keep the feast with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. If the reason we feasted was something that depended on our own strength to conquer sin and death, then there would always lurk the fear that it will not last, that when we falter, it will crumble because the foundation is not sure. But today we remember that God acted. God himself entered the depths of death and could not be held. He has risen and this event becomes the new foundation of everlasting life, which is offered to each of us today and every day. This is a new thing, a new act, a new age begun in human history. O truly blessed night, when the things of heaven are wed to those of earth and divine to the human. Ita, therefore, for this reason we say, Alleluia. Pascha nostru immolatu Christus, Alleluia, Ita. Ad veritas.